Hello everyone, I am Bora Canbula from Cihaber University, Manisa, Turkey. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, a program which I developed. Uh, this program is uh, called as PyTalis and it is a graphical user interface for TALIS nuclear reaction code. Uh, the main feature of PyTalis is to generate TALIS input files uh, by using uh, a user-friendly inter user interface. Uh, PyTalis is a free program which means uh, you can download and use it as free. Uh, the website of PyTalis is uh, pytalis.org and you can download the setup package uh, from there. Uh, now uh, I want to explain how to use this program with a real example. We run the program with uh, PyTalis command from a folder. Okay. Suppose that uh, we want to calculate uh, the gamma n cross section for zirconium 90. First, we must define the values uh, for the main k words, which are projectile, uh, the atomic number, and the mass number of targets, and the energy interf interval for this reaction. Uh, we choose gamma as projectile. and a zirconium for target and give a 90 for mass number for the energy interval we should look at the experimental data which we will compare therefore we can download the corresponding experimental data from X4 database We choose uh, zirconium 90 as target and gamma n reaction. And search for the experimental data. Uh, in this case, the results from uh, Brajnik is okay. Now uh, we save this data in our folder as a text file. You can see that the energy interval from 10 MeV to 40 MeV would be relevant. and give these values for the energy k -word. We can define the energy increase value of 1 MeV. And then we are ready to run TALIS. Uh, first we can check the generated uh, TALIS input by clicking the produce input button, as you can see. Uh, now, when you click the run button, the program will run the TALIS uh, with this input file. Okay, now the TALIS is running. Okay. After TALIS uh, completes the calculation, the program opens the results tab and shows the output file. Uh, as an additional feature, you can also see some results as a graphic file. Uh, in this example, the predictions uh, which are comparable to experimental data is given in uh, RP40 and 89.tot file by TALIS. Uh, in the plot section, uh, we can choose this file. And also define uh, which column is uh, includes x values and which column includes uh, y values. Uh, 
by changing these values from that. Uh, and also we can define some other specifications such as uh, color and type. We can choose the line for this example. Now by clicking uh, plot button the corresponding graphic file is produced. We can also add the experimental data in this plot uh, and define text labels for X and Y axis and also for title. As a title we can write cross section and X label energy and cross section. We can add the experimental data in this plot with choosing data.txt as a second file. We can choose uh, the color for this data as well. Yes. Yes. On the other hand, we can also define the X and Y range. and also the size of the graphic file and this time uh, we click the plot button the program also calculates the error of predictions according to experimental data and also the values for the first file and also the second file. And finally, in this program, you can find all the other keywords which are included in TALIS 1.6. You can change the values for these keywords and repeat the calculations and see their effect by comparing the error values. All keywords are given in different tabs as in the original TELIS manual and all information is taken uh, from this manual. As a final word uh, as a final word one can use this program to simplify the input production and interpret uh, the results of TELIS. Uh, please feel free to contact me about uh, this program and thank you very much.